poverty, a problem that has haunted humanity since we came into existence. Eliminating poverty is the common ideal of mankind. The year 2020 was called, the worst, by Time magazine. In 2020, the world was challenged by the biggest changes in a century combined with the COVID-19 pandemic. As such a year was about to pass, China scored full victory in the battle against poverty. The country has lifted 98.99 million poor rural residents under the current poverty line out of poverty, and has met the poverty eradication target set in the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development 10 years ahead of schedule, creating a China example of poverty reduction and made great contributions to global poverty alleviation. China's poverty eradication miracle is like a flash of light that shines on the world at the darkest hour of mankind. It has provided direction for action and shown an effective path for global poverty control. Science and Technology Commissioner System originated in Nanping, southeast China's Fujian province. Over the years, Nanping has focused on improving the SciTech Commissioner System as a means to boost SciTech innovation talent's contribution to rural prosperity and revitalization, and to promote the deep integration of science and technology in agricultural industry. Chen Zuli, who is engaged in agricultural product development, often contacts SciTech personnel through the call center to seek help for solving technical problems in production. Gao Yu Wang is a senior agricultural economist of economic management station in Dali Town, Shenzhen County, Nanping. Gao has been working in rural areas for more than 20 years. He developed a new method that replaces wood chips with bamboo chips to cultivate the fungus, and the simulation forestry ecology cultivation technique. With these techniques, the planting area of bamboo fungus in Shenzhen County has increased to more than 10,000 mu, about 667 hectares, and the yield per mu has risen from 40 kilograms to 90 kg. Like Gao Yunwang, 289,800 Sci Tech commissioners have been working on the front line of poverty alleviation since 2012. By providing scientific and technological services and encouraging entrepreneurship in nearly 100,000 registered poverty-stricken villages across the country, they have become an important force in poverty alleviation. Since 2012, Chinese colleges and universities have been included in the National Designated Poverty Alleviation Work System, and many of them have formed pairs with poverty-stricken counties. Xi'an Jiaotong University takes advantage of scientific and technological talent to provide assistance to Pingli County, which is located at the junction of Shaanxi, Hubei and Chongqing, guiding scientific and technological resources and services to the village households. Pingli County is the earliest and largest Gynostema pentaphyllum artificial cultivation base county in China. The county is known as home to Gynostema pentaphyllum. Professor Li Dichen, director of State Key Laboratory of Xi'an Jiaotong University, has visited Pingli County for many times. Under his direction, Xi'an Jiaotong University set up a key laboratory and a special fund for Gynostema pentaphyllum freeze-drying technology research and development. In 2020, the fight against poverty assisted by science and technology has put an historic end to poverty that has plagued the Chinese people for thousands of years, and has written a miracle in history. Eliminating poverty is not the end, but the starting point for a new life and a new endeavor. The year 2021 marks the beginning of China's 14th five-year plan period. In the new journey of building a modern socialist country in an all-round way, innovation is the primary driving force for development, and science and technology are powerful weapons to overcome difficulties. Unleashing the great potential of scientific and technological innovation in promoting agricultural and rural modernization and achieving the goal of common prosperity, more miracles are to be created.